Okay, now we're going to do some tests specifically for the uh, medial lateral collateral ligaments. The first one's for the medial collateral ligament is an abduction stress test, also known as a valgus stress test. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our patient's knee like this, and we're going to stabilize the patient's knee. We want to put our um, lateral hand right at that knee to act as a fulcrum. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a valgus stress with my elbow here, and we're going to then be challenging the medial side, just like this. We're looking for, again, instability, abnormal movement, maybe some discomfort on the patient. And if that doesn't work, we're going to put the knee with a little bit of a flexion, and we're going to do the same thing. And that would be for your medial collateral ligament. If you're having trouble with your lateral collateral ligament, um, we're going to be doing a um, varus stress, which would be an ADD duction stress. Um, we're going to do the same thing. Our, now we're using our medial hand. It's going to be um, a fulcrum on the inside of the knee. Again, we're going to add the varus stress with our elbow as we're pushing the knee lateral work. If we don't get the um, sign of a ligamentous damage with that, then we're going to add a little bit of flexion to the knee, and we're going to do the same mechanism again looking for increased movement on the lateral side of the knee. That would be our um, adduction stress test. Um, another test that we're going to do here is the distraction test, and for this we have to have our patient lay face down. This is Apley's distraction, and Apley's distraction is again for the collateral ligament. So what we're going to do here is we're li literally going to be distracting the knee um, putting some traction pressure on here to try to get the knee to distract. And so when we're doing this, we have to stabilize the patient's thigh. Now this can be very uncomfortable on your patient putting your shin on their thigh. So make sure if it causes them pain, you always ask them where is the pain because we're definitely examining the knee. Um, their pain might just be in their calf. So what we're going to do, I'm going to come over to my patient. I'm going to distract just like this. I'm distracting and then I'm going to add external tibial rotation, we're testing the medial collateral ligament, then I'm going to return it to neutral, and then I can turn it laterally, and um, the heel laterally, that is, it's internal tibial rotation, and that would be for um, lateral collateral ligament damage, and then always put it back to neutral before you uh, allow it to come back to rest. Um, again, one more time, have the patient supine, and just a reiteration, again, of slogans, we talked about that, in our, for our anterior and posterior cruciate ligaments. With our slocums, remember, if you turn the tibial, tibia um, it, with internal rotation and you pull in this anterior lateral rotation instability, that is the lateral collateral ligament, remember that. And if, if you turn the toes outward and you pull, that's for your medial collateral ligament as well as the cruciate ligaments.